stay a winning, let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, he gon' take her whatever she want. She pissed me off, so I just take it whatever she want. Talking about another from the Nella as a home. Hit it in the shop, man, I'm telling you. To the Wyndham, Laya the Carmen. So let's go ahead and do a room tour. All right, so let's see what we got up in here. So you know, it's not like how the Hilton did and gave me like a little roby robe, but you know, this will do. Nice little closet area, you can sit down in there. All right, and let's check out this bathroom. Okay, spacious, spacious. You know, it's the perfect millionaire if you know, after you have an all day of all inclusive, you just go ahead and bend over right there and just throw a lot of space, a lot of space. Hey. All right, so ooh, we got a huge shower in here. So, lots of, you know, I'll let you guys play your own imagination. I'm not gonna even say anything. But yeah, spacious, perfect area to do makeup if you were to do makeup in this hot place. I want to do it though. I want to do it. It's too hot in here to do makeup. <sighs> Alrighty, so now that we come out here, we're gonna watch our steps so we don't trip. <sighs> and then this is it. So it's not as you know super fancy or nice as the Hilton. But it's a little sun sun. I stayed here before I had a better view, I mean a better room last time I stayed here. I had did the um, beach, the beach view and then I also had like a pool view as well. This one is ocean side view. So you can still see the ocean from here. And this is how like the rooms and the balconies are. So my neighbors and everything else. And then you see the Hilton that's across the street. That's it, and I'll get a hammock over here. <sighs> Feels so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock up. All right, you guys, so um, I'm at the Hilton side of their steakhouse. Try to get some good lighting up in here. So I'm gonna show you guys the meals that they are providing here. Ah, I'm a little buzzed from the, <laughs> the um, all-inclusive, so I'm drinking water. Drinking water. Um, it's Friday night, so I'm gonna check out the vibes. I, I low key kind of want to be settled tonight. I think I might do the hookah lounge that's over there, but we'll see how I feel when I get there because I kind of want to party hard as well. That was the whole point of me being in this area because the apartment that I'm in is like far to be walking if I'm drinking and with me not having like a personal like me having a personal taxi driver I'm not really sure how I feel comfortable like finding like a new taxi driver I mean like someone who I don't know to drive me around while I'm intoxicated you know so therefore that's why I did like a staycation there and like did a hotel so we shall see Stay tuned to see the food. So far, I look okay. So I didn't record there. I came here for um, their lunch, and to be honest, I mm, I didn't really like their lunch. And no, there's no uh, zooming in and camera time that my camera could have done to make that food look good. So I will show you guys the food anyways tomorrow when I go to the to go eat lunch. But it wasn't good so far. I, it's a win for the Hilton. Um, it's definitely a win. I had talked to some ladies that I met at the bar and they said that there was some people that they met and they came to the Wyndham and they said that they didn't like the Hilton because of the food. And I'm just like, baby, I only went to two restaurants in there and so far it was good. I'm sorry, it was. I'm not gonna even lie about that. So I definitely appreciate the food that was at the Hilton and just, Overall, both places, the service is obviously good and everything. It's just that, like, I'm going based off food. Like, if you're getting all-inclusive, you want to go based off pretty much the food and drinks that you're getting. The food and drinks that you're getting. And per se, I like the Hilton because I feel like it was more restaurants. And I did like the food there. So, yeah. So here, the rooms were half of what I paid. 
paid for one night at the Hilton. So I paid way more money at the Hilton than I do here. So you get what you pay for, let's just put it that way. I'm gonna show pictures of, um, I mean, video clips of the food that I'm gonna be receiving. I ordered a New York steak. I seen it on the menu yesterday at the little Mexican restaurant at the Hilton and I didn't get it. So I wanted to try the enchiladas, but the enchiladas were phenomenal. I didn't finish my food just due to the fact that I was absolutely full. So I figured I want to do a steak. And New York steak is in my, I like, I'm a ribeye type of girl. So I feel like New York steak is a cheap cut. So I'm not really into that. I'm definitely going to see how it is, but um, yeah, we'll see how the steak is here. So I ordered the New York steak, it comes with vegetables, and then I also ordered uh, macaroni and cheese that comes out as an appetizer, and then I also ordered um, a stuffed potato, it has mushrooms and cheese, so that's also an entree here, so we shall see, and I'll show you guys how the food looks. giving me that one girl who lied vibes who's seen that boy on the freeway. Mm-mm. I ain't feeling that. <laughs> you hear the music? I don't know if y'all hear the music, so. This is where the party is on this area. So, I saw this like, baby. I don't think I'm gonna be going out the rest of the weekends. I just can't. I'm already tired tonight. I don't think I'm gonna party. I kind of just want to record it in a sense. day here so my first night officially in the Wyndham um, hotel um, like I said I've been here before my first time ever in Mexico my first time ever in Playa I stayed here with a group of girls from TikTok you know um, I seen a TikTok and it was a girl like hey I solo travel I travel all the time by myself da 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 I want some girls to travel with. We all, her TikTok blew up and she ended up starting this traveling group. Um, I believe now it's called, well, it's called like Traveling Ladies of TikTok or something like that. I'm in two different groups, but that was like the original group per se that blew up. And, um, you know, ever since, you know, I had met some really, really good people through TikTok and through that group. And it's just, it was just such an amazing time. This is when this was the peak of the pandemic. And it was an amazing time traveling with these ladies, meeting beautiful people and so forth. Um, but that's, that was when, you know, like, you know, at the, around that time I had just got my passport and I was ready to use it, baby. I was ready to put it to work. You know, so it was nice being able to link up with like random people through social media and everyone just being so beautiful 
um, such an amazing spirits and everything like that. It was so much different personality. So, you know, some people clicked, some people didn't. But it was cool for me to still um, have a good learning experience through that group and uh, meeting so many people from different parts um, of the states. Um, so that was pretty that was pretty much a good experience with that group. But anywho, that was just a little backstory of how, how I end up, you know, staying here my first time ever in Playa. And um, it was just such an amazing experience, you know, with those ladies and meeting people that that was like my first intent of like, oh my God, you know, like whenever, I don't know if I'm the only one and I know I'm not, but I know like sometimes when you go places, you're like, oh, I wanna live here. And especially when it's just so different from the place that you're currently living at and it's just so beautiful and so nice. that That's me everywhere, literally I go, I'll find one thing. I'm like, oh my God, they have this. I wanna live here now, literally. So, but ever since then, um, I had went to the club that night. You know, I was here for a good week. I was here for like six, five days. I came here like two days before the rest of the ladies. And um, I was able to like explore and see this area a little bit. And around that time, like the dollar to pesos was like $22 to $1. It was like $1 to 22 pesos. So the dollar was really, really good here. So it was funny, I came here with like $300 to be honest for the five days and I came back damn near with $300. Not really, but I'm just saying like, cause pretty much since I was in this all inclusive, I used my money to really just tip. And I didn't eat outside of the resort either, just due to the fact that that was the whole point of me paying for the all inclusive. So I didn't eat out while I was here. I ate and drank within the, um, the resort and then there was a few times like when we first went to the club you know when you first buy your own drinks and stuff like that so that was something it didn't cost that much and then after that baby i know how to work them clubs baby i'll find a table with a bottle and get my homegirls in that section baby i do not play when it comes to spending money when i go out baby if you're a female you should be able to get in for free and drink for free that's just how i look at things baby i know how to work when you when you live in vegas when you live in vegas and then you you know you know how to work your way around okay and then baby same thing when you go to miami same thing so baby i'm an expert at that <laughs> i'm an expert at getting my way around things when it comes to uh clubbing <laughs> but anywho um, when I went out to the clubs and stuff like that, I was just seeing like, you know, different black people and stuff. So I'm all like, oh, what resort you're staying at? Where are you? They're like, we live here. And I'm just like, you what? You live here? And they're like, yeah. But like damn near 99% of the people I'm asking like, where are you from? Da -da -da. We live here. We live here. What? You live here. You live in Mexico. You live near the beach. You live like what? How much is it to live here? And they're telling me how much it is to live here. And they're just like, yeah, we're expats. And I'm like, what's that? Like, huh? What? What's going? on I'm like I want to do this I want to live here how do I live near the beach how do I live this life every day like what 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 like so like being there at that time at the peak of the pandemic it was just so exciting to like see like you know black people live in Mexico and then different either even different other cultures living here and it's just like it was like pretty awesome to see that, you know what I'm saying? So it was something new and different to me. So when I was seeing that, I tried to, you know, I tried to do as much research as I can during that time period. And I was like, I wanna do it, I wanna do it next, you know? And at the time, um, you know, everybody wasn't like, nobody was working, everyone was getting that little checky check. So I was like, this is the perfect time, you know? I'm getting a good little decent check from the government. Um, I can just use that to live out here and you know work my way around and stuff like that like nothing like that like in a sense even now with me being here it's like I'm not gonna say oh my god this is my permanent place it's just where I'm at in my path of life right now what I want to do you know so I already know that um I won't be able to well I don't even know Things can happen, but I'm just saying like right now in my mind, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life. Like, no, there's other parts of the world I wanna travel. There's different parts of the states that I still haven't been to. Like, you know, there's different things that I wanna do and explore. So I can't, I'm not gonna guarantee I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be here. But it's just nice to be able to say like, hey, I'm able to live here for this time period and it's been an amazing journey. You know, there's different things that, I still want to explore while I'm here and get into, you know? So 
it's been nice that I've been able to do this and I can't wait to bring my daughter on the journey with me. It's pretty much exciting. So um, I'm super excited for her to be able to see different parts of the world, even though she's young and hopefully she'll be able to remember these journey, you know, this journey with me as she gets older. Hopefully this is something that she remember. I feel like she should, but you know, you know how kids brains are, but, <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm able to uh, do this with my baby girl. Um, so she can like learn different cultures and stuff like that as well. I feel like it's pretty exciting. So that's that. But so far, um, like, you know, I'm just gonna say like this hotel has definitely has changed. I'm not gonna say in a good or bad way. I'm just saying like, well, good way as in like, this is now an all adult hotel. And like I said, I did not even know when I was booking it until like I kind of looked back at it and I'm like, adult hotel. And I already have booked the hotel at this point, but I didn't even realize that because I booked it directly through their site and it doesn't like really, I didn't really, like I said, I was just booking. So I didn't really, if it did say that on there, I didn't realize it until like after the fact of me like being at the Hilton. Then I went back to kind of compare and I was like, oh my God, that one's also an adult hotel. Yes, because last time I was here, they had like a twerk contest in a sense like a dance contest or whatever and there was kids there and they're like yeah, yeah, like that so i'm just like baby close your eyes get your kid out of here who brings your no get out get out like bye we stop being in grown folks business that's how i was looking at it <laughs> but yeah so i'm glad that now this place is all adult only and the hilton is as well and a lot of these resorts are starting to become that because baby grown folks want to be grown folks without kids in their business okay like damn get your kid away from my booty while i'm shaking it okay so anywho <laughs> but i'm just like so i that's pretty much a good change that i like about it you know um there's a lot of more family resorts out here that actually has kids activities and i feel like those need to just be strictly kids and stuff that doesn't have anything to pertain to kids need to be adult only and friendly because baby i do not when i'm on vacation and i'm vacationing i have a kid i do not want to see kids on my vacation baby i, I, I ran away from that i ran away from um being a mother at this mo moment, you know, I'm like, I, I want a vacation, you know, I don't want to see kids in my face. I don't want to see kids. So I wish more hotels would be that when adults and parents who are running away and just want to like have like a weekend trip. We don't want to see kids and crying and stuff on our vacation. Maybe we wanted to see all adults and be like, hey, hi, hi. you know, <laughs> but um, I, what I like too that's new, and I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it might be new within the Hilton too, but I like how both resorts have like activities per day. So there's a whole schedule, there's like a good 10 activities within like the hours of until nighttime and i love that within both resorts so it gives you things to do for people who are like i'm not doing excursions i'm not leaving my resort i paid my money i am staying here for the all you can eat all you can drink i am staying here you know i love that now they um interacted different activities within the uh, resort so it's just like now you have little activities and things to do within your stay and both places do that and that's like an a plus for me that's a 10 out of 10 you know what i'm saying but for food wise i haven't yet it's um early in the morning so i am going to check out their breakfast choices i did um i was here for their lunch and um, there wasn't too much i had got rice and uh what is it called like i think it was like it was like some type of barbecue thing and that's what i ate and there was like literally nothing else for me to choose and i was just too sad for me to even record and show you guys so today during lunch um based off of i'm hungry and i'll probably just still go in there just to record or whatever just you know to get some content but hopefully maybe today is a different day hopefully it looks good but their food was not amazing i love the hilton's lunch like you just literally go to any of the restaurants and uh, well, not any the ones that are open obviously, but it's not like a buffet style like here is buffet style for their lunch That's how it is like at the Hilton for their breakfast, which I remember here too Which I'm pretty sure it is the same here too. There it's like buffet style But they actually had restaurants that were open 
that you can actually order from and a menu you know what i'm saying so when it's a menu and it's not buffet style like the things are like made to order made fresh made you know good and i definitely give pointers to the hilton for that and i'm like you get what you pay for like i said i paid more money pretty much like what i paid at the hilton for one night that was my that's how much i pretty much paid for two nights here so it's like you get what you pay for there. You get a robe, you get a hammock, you get all that luxury stuff. You get a jacuzzi in your room. Every room has a jacuzzi. So it doesn't matter what room you guys book over there, baby, you're gonna get a jacuzzi in your room, okay? That's just that. So I'm loving this little area. This is like the area you go when you're hungry in the middle of the night. This is open 24 hours. So you see they have like fruits and stuff here. They stock it up and fill it. Every time I marry I gotta look at myself. Outfit of the day. So they have little cold cut sandwiches. So like, I'm telling you, when you come back from the middle of the club and you are starving and hungry, you're not gonna care. This is gonna be so delicious to you. You have their drinks. Like I said, they keep all this stocked daily because it's 24 hours. You can eat here at the bar, little bar, little school area over here have the view of the pool no one's out right now there is one guy in the pool might be even a lifeguard because he has to get the red shorts and then there's other people so i don't know but yes this is 24 hours you guys so i do appreciate this i do i greatly appreciate it you know got your little coffee if you need coffee a little granola bars microwave food Maybe you heat up your sandwich right here, press it down. That's something I would do. So, have wraps and stuff. So, your yogurts, veggies. So, this is something that they have that's part of the hotel, which I'm like, why can't a lot of hotels have this? And they also have, I believe, like 24 hour room service, but it's like a limited menu. So not only that they have this, but they have like the 24 hour room service. Okay, update on the breakfast, you guys. I had to walk out. I had to walk out, I couldn't. I couldn't spare my stomach for that. It's unfortunate. All right, well, I'm gonna explore and see what I want for breakfast because I am kind of hungry, but I didn't want anything that was inside of that room, so I might see what they have for their coffee. Mm another day here at the Wyndham okay you guys so this is my final night I will be checking out in the next few minutes um it's cool that you know when they when I first checked in so what they give you is like this coupon book and pretty much it's like saying stating here that they have like a book a booklet of like $500 in discounts but um they only allow you because after reading they do only allow you to use one per your visit and per um and per guest so um if you have like multiple people like they can use one as well but it's one per guest one per visit like that i guess in a sense so in here they have a 25 uh, percent off on their spa which their spa is pretty pricey to me like in the u.s 
like like I said, I'm not going to be spending anything more than like the whole point of me coming here is like to save a little money, you know, to have fun on a budget and stuff. So I'm not going to be going over my budget than what I would have spent in the U.S. per se. So that's my thing. So <clears throat> I think their spa, even at the Hilton, their spa was like three to four hundred dollar US. And I'm just like, be be for real. Be for real, baby. I'm not spending that on that. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. So they have 25% off on that. They also have a dinner, 25% off. So I'm hoping yesterday I had got a steak. Um, and it didn't look like a ribeye steak and it didn't taste like a ribeye steak, but it is what it is. Um I do know my state cuts and it definitely wasn't giving me ribeye. So, but anyways, uh, I got a ribeye steak at their Italian restaurant here. It was phenomenal, it was amazing, it was a good choice. I'm glad that everybody recommended that restaurant to me because it was delicious and I wish I would have did that both nights, to be honest. So, for future reference for next time, I definitely would do that. And I asked them about the Mexican restaurant. I guess the Mexican restaurant is only open on Sundays. And that would make sense because I think I had left like on Monday or something like that. Like I can't remember when I left, but maybe things were just different too then. I don't remember, but oh no, 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 no. I think too, because the Italian restaurants only open on certain days. And I told you that I got here like my first time ever coming here uh, during the pandemic. I got here like two, three days before the rest of the girls. So I believe that when I got here, the Mexican restaurant and like the steakhouse was only open or something like that. It was like something to that effect. So um, it was like vice versa. So the steakhouse, I mean, that's steakhouse. I think the steakhouse is open every single day, but the Mexican and the Italian restaurant is only open on certain days. So with that being said, it's like when the Mexican restaurant is open, the Italian is closed. When the Italian is open, the Mexican restaurant is closed. So for instance, today is Sunday and today the um, Italian restaurant is closed. Therefore, the Mexican restaurant will be open. So the guy was telling me that he was going to be working at the Mexican restaurant tomorrow. And I was just like, oh man, I was looking forward to that restaurant. But yeah, so I'm hoping that I can use my 25% off coupon on the steak that I got. 25% off. So fingers crossed because it says dinner. So and it didn't say like it excludes like fancy steaks and stuff like that. So I will assume that it will work on that. Like, you know, extra promotion costs and stuff like that. So it didn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say that you can't use it on steak. So that was that they also have a uh, 15 percent off on premium drinks so even with your all-inclusive package here you get like you know just like the cheap liquor in a sense but if you want like to get like high brand in bottles to yourself and stuff like that they give you a little booklet uh, a 15 percent off your bottle when you um pay for it and then they also have 15% off room upgrade. So if you want to upgrade your room to a better room, in a sense, I didn't like, I just booked a basic room here. And then I think in a sense, he low key gave me some type of upgrade in a sense because, and I feel like only to maybe because there's not a lot of people here. So it was just like F it. But like, I got like partial, um, partial like ocean view. And I know that was like listed on the booking site somewhere where you can get like partial uh, ocean view ocean view like all these different things so i didn't book it and he ended up you know giving it to me you know so that was pretty nice of him because i just needed the most basic thing you know so they give you 15 percent off if you end up wanting to um, upgrade your room and then they give you late checkout so if you want to ch check out here, which is at n any pretty much normally any hotel you go to anywhere, it's pretty much at um, 11 a.m. So 11 a.m., 12 p.m., something like that. So um, I can't remember. I think it's 12 p.m. here, to be honest, not thinking about it. But pretty much you can check out at 2 p.m. with this coupon, which is pretty awesome and cool for anyone who's late sleepers or partied hard on Saturday night and you know need a little late checkout or something like that so that's pretty cool or want to enjoy the amenities or your plane doesn't leave to a certain time period so i feel like that 2 p.m will definitely help you know some people so that's pretty cool because check-in is at three so it gives you like a whole hour and the cool thing about it too they let me check in early here so i'll stay at the hilton and the cool, you know, I was um, happy that they let me do an early check-in because I checked out, I believe I checked out the Hilton like 
like right around 12 to be honest like I went all the way until 12 to check out like 11 30 ish 12 and then from there I came straight here and I was like hey remember me you said that you possibly can do an early check-in and he was like yeah I do I do have rooms available so I was like cool he checked me in right away you know I went back to my apartment you know got my bags together and then came back simple so check-in here is like at three so that was cool that I got a check-in early so they have late checkout for 2 p.m with the coupon and then so they have 10% off excursions here in the um, booklet. So they do have they do have people selling excursions. So I guess whatever price they're charging, you can um, bring up this coupon and get 10% off. And then let's see. Romantic. Um, they have like a romantic dinner. So I assume this is like what I had seen at the Hilton. I seen uh, which I didn't even know that they had, which is pretty cool. Which um, when I was on the beach, I seen people who were staying at the Hilton. They were having like beach dinner. So they were coming up. Like they pretty much had tables set up on the beach, and they brought you a menu, brought you dinner. You know the whole shebang bang. So they probably do that here too, most likely. So that's probably what this is. So it's like a romantic dinner and I wouldn't think any else romantic other than the beach. So they give you 25% off with this coupon and that's pretty much it. So that's the whole book, so I am keeping this. Like I said, hopefully I get to use that 25% um, off of the steak that I got. Um, so, and then use the rest of the book for future visits if I come back for future visits. And yeah. So other than that, my stay has been amazing, you know, regardless. The only thing, like I said, the downfall here was the food. The food, the food, the food, because it's a big thing when you're doing all-inclusive. Like You don't ever want to feel like you have to leave the resort to get food when you're already spending a certain amount of money for the resort. So I feel like that's something that, you know, I hope in the future that they can work on because that whole buffet style is not a thing for me here. But like I said, this is a smaller resort. So I get it, but at the same time, I'm just like, baby, I, you know, that's the whole point of me doing all inclusive. I want to enjoy the food. I want to enjoy the drinks, you know, I want to, you know, enjoy the whole shebang. And that's one thing I feel like they lack here is the food. And then, um, like I said, it, to me, like both places does give me like more like of an older crowd vibe. So it's not that many young people that are partying in these places that I see. So I definitely want to kind of like explore and ask around and like kind of look and see if the hotels doesn't mind like letting me like look inside and kind of see. I noticed like over near the Reef 28 where I said that I eventually want to book, I did notice more of a younger crowd over there just because they have beach clubs over there. That's like, I'm not sure if that's included in your stay, if it's separate or whatnot, but I did notice like more going towards the beach clubs. It was more of a younger vibe. So I feel like maybe the people who's been here several times, whatever knows about that. So then maybe that's what they're booking when they get here. And especially because they do um, have the option to do all inclusive or the option to not do all inclusive. So, and I feel like before I book, now that I'm like staying here, before I book all inclusive, I'll like, let me check out y'all restaurants first. Let me check out your menu because then based off how much they're charging extra for all inclusive, I'll just be like, oh, I might as well just eat out on the restaurants and stuff like that because such and such, I'm not gonna eat that much anyways or whatever. So other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, you guys enjoyed watching my vlog and if you guys did, if you guys can please a like and subscribe and if you guys want to stay in touch with my videos, go ahead and click the notification bell. Alrighty you guys, bye! CC Gucci, he gon' take her whatever she want She piss me off, so I just think it whatever she want Talkin' bout a nigga from the Nella as a home Hit it in the shop, made her tell me what she want Like I'm singing Miss, I made her tell me what she want hey. She on a pie trip again I know power got me buying again Friends ain't jacking me, you must be lying to your friends They don't want my visa, I wait the giants up again Shining once again Ran it up, I told her mama, shot in my DMs. Huh. Now I'm right back in, now. Huh. Locked in, shot.
Shawty got that dust on for the block, it's hot again Think so when I hit it, sound like fuck a ad Gotta ask again Then she got it trippin' off another yet again Got a nigga feelin' like a sucker yet again Close on my emotion, then I rush and let her in Hurry up and let her in I'ma take a bougie ass to Odell and then let her pick up whatever she want CC Gucci, he gon' take up whatever she want She piss me off somehow, she still get whatever she want Talking about another, I'm finna nail her ass at home Hit it in the shop, made her tell me what she want Like I'm singing maze, I made her tell me what she want <laughs> Think I found my strength to finally get up and 